Hello Libra, I hope you're doing awesome. Let's do your reading. We're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for your highest good. This is going to be extra. Um, we, of course, going to ask also about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video. Uh, most of you are not in contact with your soulmate. Some of you are in sporadic communication, which means a lot of misunderstanding. So we're going to ask how your soulmate is doing. What's going on with the life that you are allowed to see for your highest good? And of course, we're going to ask how your soulmate is currently relating to you, especially emotionally at this time. Let's see. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra. For Libra's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Libra? What will Libra be dealing with, facing? <clears throat> Let's see. Nine of Swords. A lot of worries. Overanalyzing. Yeah, you feel... You feel stuck. You feel like you're waiting on something trying to fix yeah so a lot of worries and problems with communication um this combination here shows illness for some of you you are feeling sick exhausted tired so if you haven't gone to a doctor for like a yearly physical uh make sure you do that because this shows physical illness developing we all get them but the the trick is to catch it early okay and if you catch it early this is victory card um yeah you're gonna be okay so you have been sick this is illness physical illness could be something minor but the universe is showing it for a reason which means you need to catch it early take care of it so it doesn't develop into something major like a major problem down the road six of wands is victory so you're going to be successful if you take uh proactive measures okay wow seven of cups seven of swords emperor <clears throat> hmm let me see clarification because there's somebody in your life uh, there is somebody in your life that's showing up as arrogant, controlling, deceitful, uh, telling you lies. Wow, what the hell is this? Let me see. Hold on. This is very unusual for collective reading. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> you worried also about money, finances a lot. You're doing a lot of introspective inner work. Um, so some of you walked away from this person or the person walked away from you, your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of. Ooh. Two were supposed to pop out. Six of Swords. Yeah. Victory in healing. So this is healing card. This is healing. So whatever physical illness that you are developing right now, you, some of you don't even know about it yet. But when you go get for testing, it will show up. But the good thing is you're going to catch it early uh, and heal it. Yeah. This is karmic, though. This is karmic. So we all have challenges with our health here and there. Some worse than others, but this is a karmic situation. So you're going through it for a reason. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is... Make sure you take care of it. Moon card. You worry excessively about... Uh, your financial stability justice card over here some of you are dealing with a pisces also aquarius also another libra showing up here you have a lot of fake people around you and you already know who they are and walked away from some of them 
And that's what you need to do. You need to walk away from people that are fake. Um, yeah, drama. So you do love your person. You're showing up here as loving them. You worry excessively. There are also problems with communication. Nine of Swords showing up twice from two different decks. This shows drama uh, from fake people around you. You already know who fake people are because your intuition will tell you. You will not feel right when you're around them. Um, number one is for you to take care of your health right now. Um, I want to know what's going on with this person here that's being fake with you and arrogant, wearing a mask. Emperor with Seven of Swords is not good. Let me see. Universe, please clarify these energies uh, for Libra's highest good, please. Ace of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Cups again. So somebody needs to walk away. Um, so there is somebody that you know in your life. Whoever it is that you're thinking of while I'm saying this is the person that's very controlling, manipulative, uh, deceitful. This is lies, manipulation. Emperor with Seven of Swords is not good. That's betrayal. Um, person that's confusing you. You need to follow your instinct. Um, let me see about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video. What's going on with them? Wow, this is unusual reading for, for collective reading. Um... But it showed up for a reason because you're supposed to know it about your health and people that are deceitful around you. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Libra, no matter what sign or gender they are collectively, how is the soulmate of Libra doing? What's going on with soulmate's life that Libra is allowed to see for the highest good? And... <clears throat> How is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to re Libra, especially emotionally? Wow, sadness, depression, regret, five of cups, crying over spilled milk sort of energy. <clears throat> Justice. Some of you are dealing with another Libra. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Hanging Man again. So it looks like the relationship is on hold. There's a lot of regret showing up here. Emotional regret, sadness on their part. Um, this person feels like you don't care for them emotionally. If you did in the past, they feel like you don't anymore because the cup is they looking at is broken. However, their their emotions are showing up here in their hand as still caring for you, loving you, but disappointed in the relationship. I'm curious what's going to show up on top of Justice card. <clears throat> Anyways, please clarify these energies. What's going on with the soulmate of Libra? And how is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to Libra, especially emotionally? Queen of Wands. Some of you are dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, a lot of heavy weights. Here's the matching pair, though. Queen of Wands with King of Wands. So this person tried to let you go, release you. Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Uh Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces also showing up here. Um, this person tried to release you, let you go, but it's it's not, uh, they are not being successful. Also, Leo showing up here strongly. Um, <clears throat> what's going on with the soulmate? 
Sagittarius showing up. Um, this person is trying to heal, to make sense. You see, the Five of Cups showed up twice from two different decks. That's a double strong message. This person has a lot of regrets, uh, sadness, emotional regrets. Uh, yeah, so there are some people that they know that are against this connection with you for whatever reason they are not uh they are not f looking favorably at your relationship with your soulmate this shows that if the two of you uh, communicate you're going to be successful at resolving this um uh just you, honestly, you should not care what other people think. They are not in your shoes uh, to tell you who you should or should not be with, whether it's for you or for them. Justice again on top of justice. So you guys have a soul contract. You know each other from other lifetimes. Yeah, so when you reunite and see each other again, you'll be able to resolve this and be on peaceful grounds and then decide what it is you want uh, from each other. Uh, you should not care what other people think because this is your life. If you are an adult, you have the right to make your own choices and decisions whether other people approve of it or not. That's up to you. They're not living your life. You are living it. So you should not care what other people think. Yeah, you have a soul contract with this person. Here's the Wheel of Fortune with uh, justice. Justice twice from two different decks. So uh, the universe will give you another shot at this, another chance to resolve this, to work on this, If you and then decide if you want to be together uh, as friends, acquaintances, more than friends, or just walk away. But... If you do decide to walk away, walk away in a peaceful way uh, without holding grudges towards each other. I just looked on the bottom of the deck. Judgment. So this person wants to reconcile with you. Chariot. This is beautiful victory card and magician. Three major arcanas. The universe. Oof. Heartbreak. So this person is heartbroken and wants to reconcile with you. Because they are soulmates, they feel this immense soul connection, emotional connection with you, Six of Cups. Yeah, this person, yeah, the star. So the two of you were together many lifetimes. So the universe will give you another chance to work at this and be on peaceful terms. And then decide what it is you want to do because you have a free will and the universe respects your free will. <clears throat> let's see more messages before we go into extended more messages for libra universe about libra about libra for libra's highest good knight of cups beautiful strength so <clears throat> one of you is trying to hold back but you love the the other person whether it's them or you are showing up here uh you are restraining yourself. You're not sure how to handle it. <clears throat> but with the sun and moon next to each other shows you're going to have clarity and you will know what you need to do. You love this person, but you holding back, expressing your emotions. You're not sure which path to take, how to proceed. But it shows here, uh, some of you are dealing with the Virgo, very strong Virgo, also Leo. That It shows here also Scorpio. It shows here that if you wait to not rush in, you'll be able to have clarity of thought and you will see clearly what it is you need to do. Take your time in uh, proceeding because this is, even though slow energy, it's very steady, grounded uh, energy, solid offer. Yeah, don't rush in. <clears throat> don't rush in. No. Take your time. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, very strong Leo. Leo, also Pisces, Cancerian. Yeah, you're going to be victorious if you don't rush in. Take your time. making. Yeah, beautiful. Solid offer of commitment. Um, let's see more before we go into extended. The world. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, also Taurus. No matter what sign you're dealing with, 
it shows here that even though you had problems, difficulties, um, that you have balanced some karmic cycles with this individual. You That means you're learning uh, lessons from each other because that's what soulmate relationships are. They're challenging. They're supposed to be because we only grow through challenges. Communication problems showing up here. And this is you being exhausted, trying to figure out the best way to proceed. You will figure out. Just don't rush in. Um, this shows the universe will give you another chance. Again, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, <clears throat> Virgo. Um, <clears throat> Scorpio showing up here strongly. No matter who, which sign you're dealing with, the universe will give you another opportunity to work with this person on this situation, on this relationship. Um, beautiful connection there you have with this person. Um, let's see extended reading. We're going to ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you. Anything they may be hiding from you, whether it's on purpose or um, they can't communicate right now, but the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice uh, from universe, from spirit on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else the universe needs you to know, whether it's your health, finances, family, whatnot, they will show at the end of the reading. So Libra, click on the extended link below uh, this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Thank you, guys.